a number of points, key points that you can actually use. Some points will actually stimulate the repair process, some will primarily address the swelling. So what I'll basically do is go through the main points, explain to you why I'm choosing those points and also the effect of those particular points. Also when you're treating the ankle, the idea is to try and do a surround the dragon. But I always say, as opposed to just putting it in to around the ankle, use classical acupuncture points. Therefore, you're going to get more of an optimal effect from utilising it that way. <coughs> so, Two main meridians that pass around the actual ankle itself that you'll actually be utilising is mainly going to be the gallbladder and also your urinary bladder. So they're going to be the two main meridians. Mainly for tissue repair and proprioception, that's where your stomach meridian comes in. Когато става въпрос за възстановяване на тъканта, тогава е меридиан стомах. So, I'm going to start off utilizing dull bladder. So, I'm going to start off proximal to the area. So, this is going to be my goal bladder 39. So, it's primarily between the peroneal tendon and the fibula. Okay, three suns up from the highest point of the malleoli. It's one of your most common points used for ankle. So again, if you look at the research, it's quite an effective point regards to treating ankle disorders. I'm going to follow that with gallbladder 40. Gallbladder 40 is quite an effective point. It sits over the sinus torsi. So anybody with a severe ankle sprain may well end up with sinus torsi syndrome. If they get sinus torsi syndrome, it can cause a lot of pain in and around the actual ankle joint in itself. So again, quite an effective point in and around there. And as you notice, I'm actually starting to surround the actual area. It also sits near the insertion point of your um, ligament, your anterior ligament of the actual ankle itself. So again, it will stimulate the repair process, particularly as a local point for that. Особеното при тази точка е, че тя има въздействие освен като локално въздействие, но има въздействие и като при сместазисния синдром и другото, кое каза? И предната кръсна връзка на глезната. Не, не кръсна, грешка, извинявам се. Предната на... Предната. Не е кръсна, а предната. Не е дълтовидната, а предната. Юри Бла 60. Аз ще да кажа 62. Аз ще използвам 60, но не имам никакви тяло или нещо, да лифт тяло, да падам. Аз ще използвам моя 60. Но нормално, аз ще стоя моя 60 тук и да дойдам до моя 62. И да го взема тук до 63. В момента сложих на 62-а, малко е наудобно, защото подглезва ми не е подготвен, за да сложи на 60-а и обикновено използваме 64-а. Ще използвам стомах 36. Сега вече знаете защо предполагам. But very important is going to be my stomach 41. 
Yeah. Get him to flex the Halex up towards him, so just ask him to flex his Mostly big toe this is going up to towards him. Yeah, so right, go. go ahead, flex, flex, flex. So it's, it's right on the ankle joint, here. just to lateral to the, should I say, extensor tendon. So again, this point in particular, it will strengthen the ankle joint and reduce swelling and inflammation around the ankle. Това е точката, която ще въздейства за намаляване на възпалението и ще подсили самата става. In his case, he hasn't got any problem with syndesmosis. But sometimes, if there's a severe ankle sprain, you may well get the um, fibrous uh, retinaculum that actually comes across and holds the tib and fib together. Sometimes that gets torn. If that is, that's one of the main points you're going to actually utilise in order to settle that down. And in most cases, that don't get discovered until after you've discharged the patient. So ideally is to ensure that any treatment also incorporates that. Stomach 36 and stomach 41, both those points will address the proprioception. So again, one of the key things you're going to give the patient is proprioception. Uh, so those two points will help to actually address that. Okay, so quite important to bear that in mind. Uh, and again, you go by 39, quite a strong point particularly for joints. So when you're treating joints or anything like that, quite an effective point for treating your joints uh, and addressing any kind of acute or more so chronic sprains. And particularly in his case, if he's getting reoccurring uh, ankle sprains, there's going to be some chronicity that's going to be um, sitting there in that. What you can do is add the gallbladder 39, a very strong point and a very active point заглезена, която подобрява възстановяването. Тази 41-а стомах, която е сложи по средата горе, заглезена, много често при изкълчване хронифициране, като при него хабитуално 30 пъти, че има изкълчване, ретинакула между фибулата и тибията, които ги прекрепят, много често се наранява, понякога има и микроразкъсване и точно тази точка въздейства върху възстановяването. I'm assuming he felt that one a little. So that was the periosteal pecking. That's about as much as you need to do. You don't have to go too vigorous. The whole idea is you just stimulate the sclerotone. So most of the needle will affect the dermatone, myotone, whereas this you have an effect on the sclerotone. So the effect is more segmental. So the whole idea is that will also have an effect directly on pain. But I'm wanting to desensitize the bone so that when it comes for future treatment, I can go and mobilize that joint. Otherwise, if I don't desensitize the bone, it's a long time before you can start to apply mobilization, particularly to that joint. So it just means that uh, you can start to mobilize and free up the joint that much earlier in order to increase joint range of motion. Periostealnata obozhne, koeto toi go napravi, toi go napravi sa cel da namaliči svetomosta na kosta, koeto vidjahte na fibolata, govičkata na fibolata, vrštne mojo, je dosta visoka. I go napravi sa soglet na to va, za da može posledeštata terapija, da bude mnogo po efektivna i da mobilizira зоната на външният мъля оставата, докато което стимулира в дълбочина. Докато иглите, които в момента е поставил, те стимулират както миотома, така и дермотома, но склератома го стимулира чрез периоставното обождане. Има много други пункти, които можете да използвате. Има много други точки, които може да използвате. Няколко други точки, които може да използвате. However, you don't want to overload on your initial treatment. Each one of these points that I've used around here, more so these ones here, will address any swelling inflammation around the ankle. Now, let's say, for example, the ankle is quite extensively swollen. And sometimes it will extend down into the foot. 
then my primary objective is to enhance circulation generally throughout the lower limb. So not just to the local area where it's going to cause more swelling. I want to try and reduce um, into the area. So what I mainly use is your bay feng points. Mm -hmm. These points will enhance circulation generally to the lower limb. I can also combine that with liver 3. Благодаря so комбинираме с uh, okay, с черен дроп 3. Ако имаме случаи на много сериозен отток по целия, цялото ходило, тогава ще е необходимо да стимулирам uh, кръвообращението мощно в цялото, в целия долен крайник и тогава ще използвам uh, далак uh, черен дроп 3 и ще използвам точките, които са в основата на пътя пръста. Okay. So, besides my liver 3, it depends again, this, there are all the points you can continue to use on the gallbladder meridian. Points such as your gallbladder 41, that's quite a, an effective point. That will mainly treat pain along the course of the gallbladder meridian, which will no doubt travel through the actual ankle. Same again, you've also got your gallbladder 34, again for ligaments, tendons. И, и голблада 41. Това са две допълнителни точки, които може да а, използвате с оглед, когато има радираща болка по цялата странична част, коляно ходило а, на пациента. If um, there was quite extensive swelling, the main points I would have used would have been my kidney 7, spleen 9. So they'll be my primary points in order to reduce the swelling. If it's swollen quite extensively, I can always use it on the opposite limb. It will still have a reasonable effect on this limb. Когато имаме доста обширна обширен отток на долния крайник, на целия долен крайник, бих добавил бъбрек 7 и далак 9. От медиалната страна. Do you go up? Yeah. Dead. Bubrick seven. The lock dead.